Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Catherine stole the fashion addict's hearts in an impressive outfit, as she's the queen of high-low dressing. I remember Princess Catherine. She's deaf lady that we know who's capable of pulling off wedges throughout the year, and you're the epitome of high-low clothing. Catherine has grown into a fashion symbol for the whole country, appearing on the front page of British Vogue, inspiring an Aspinall bag that has been designated for her, along with causing high street fashion revenues to absolutely skyrocket if she's seen wearing a cheap, inexpensive outfit. The princess has been able to pull off some very remarkable stylish outfits throughout the lockdown, whenever the majority of us was simply comfortable in casual clothing. Princess Catherine now consistently puts on a suit befitting her position in the royal household. She stands in for a contributing member of the royal family and the queen-to-be aesthetic. I have to admit, she has a killer style for the office. Catherine used to possess a far more minimal closet, consisting only of white shirts, flaring trousers, along with the occasional multicolored outfit, until she began working with a bevy of stylists and creators. Though we admire Princess Catherine's fashion sense and would enjoy looking like her on every occasion, we're actually more inclined to see her wearing clothes that Catherine wore before she joined the royal family. We're considering cardigans, slinky sundresses and vests for the occasional sunny day in the backyard. Although we haven't worn our emerald green sequined halter neck shirt until now, we really are inclined to do so today. In this article, we'll reflect back fondly on Catherine's personality and style when she was in her 20s shortly before she was married into the British royal household in 2011. Princess Catherine's fondness for country wear stems from her upbringing in rural areas. There, she's seen during a polo tournament. It was held in Oxfordshire's Blenheim Palace, and it was for an event named Game Fair. The speculation that Catherine and William were already settling into the Clarence House apartment was at its height at this time. Catherine seemed to have had a positive psychic reading. Following an April three-hour burn-off-the-curry climb to a religious institution in Bataan, performed the Princess of Wales to don her faithful footwear in public once more. The footwear had an increasingly weathered appearance, although we're surprisingly modern considering the age. A few rather paranoid hypotheses about how Catherine's favourite boots have survived so long. One, it's possible that the shoes she's been sporting for the past 12 months aren't exactly the same pair she wore in 2004. After all, nobody has seen her feet since then. If so, show me the pictures and the money. Consider that. And two, the Queen's Royal Shoemaker resoles, rubs and massages the particular material of her footwear to ensure that they perpetually have a worn-in, traditional but tough English appearance. Three, she owns numerous pairs of this footwear. Envision the shelves stacked high with the latest and greatest stars from LK Bennett heels to Stuart Weissman wedges in navy. Like Catherine, our household has been prioritising practicality above flash for the last few years. Catherine was a step ahead of the times in 2008 whenever she was spotted in the Hudson flaring pants, which are, once again, this summer's must-possess trend. Sienna Miller and Jessica Alba, both performers, are reportedly big lovers of the thing in question. She nailed the country chic style by pairing the Riley five-pocket flaring alongside a range of form-fitting knitwear. The trilogy is where Catherine gets her jeans for the first time, and once that photo came out, business picked up significantly for that particular type. Catherine's quite patriotic in nature, since the company's logo has the Union Jack, despite the fact that it's situated in California. Catherine's signature minimalist style included outfits, including this white vest, along with trousers. This picture of her during her time as an undergraduate in St. Andrews appears nearly as relaxed as we've ever witnessed her. She wore a cami tank top, baggy trousers and a messy bun. We can guarantee that if Her Majesty the Queen would be less than thrilled if she saw the upcoming Queen out and about in such a relaxed outfit. Catherine wore her favourite over-the-knee footwear alongside a thigh-length skirt and a cosy sweater, paying homage to her rural upbringing. Not sure what you should put in the limbo between summertime and fall? Consider Catherine from 2007 as your inspiration. She wore a cardigan, a crotcheted skirt that reached almost to the knee, and a shirt that had a collar while attending the badminton horse trials. This traditional and easy-to-replicate style is complemented with a belt in wear the large purse and rectangular sunglasses. Prove Catherine always loved wedge shoes. In 2006, Catherine donned a pair of crimson espadrille wedges alongside a floral design to a polo tournament. 
Her red strapless polka dot outfit went well with the adorable sandals. Catherine went all out for the extravagant clothing theme at her roller coaster dance. The Dayglow Midnight Roller Disco was an educational occasion held in the south of London in 2008, and the princess attended in full regalia. Her outfit is certainly not intended for the faint of heart. What with the brightly coloured halter top, the bright yellow shorts, plus the neon coloured socks that peep out from under the knee-high black boots. However, the takeaway here is that both have been consistent with the subject to not be too scared to combine colours and materials. Catherine wore an olive-coloured patterned jersey attire, white tights, as well as a tote bag for an evening out in the city. Catherine wears fashionable, unmistakably 2000s clothes, such empire-waisted blouses, big jewellery that she's worked as an accessory designer for an organisation named Jigsaw, knee-deep footwear, plus a generous application of sunscreen. There's even a shot of her using a flip phone. Catherine's attire became more daring during the time that she's been together with Prince William, which is when she has been often observed. During Catherine St. Andrew's University graduation, shortly after she met her prospective partner, she wore a stylish cap and gown. Catherine's pre-royal style included a lot of white pants, which she always liked to wear. Attired with otherworldly grace, in a colour block dress along with the modest white jacket at a social engagement. Wearing a cream coloured jacket as well as a Karen Millen lacy skirt with black and white wood panelling, William's then girlfriend visited an outdoor ceremony in June 2005. She topped off her ensemble with an unassuming black hat by Philip Treacy. Wearing a Sloney outfit to the racetrack is a must. Catherine has always had a timeless, understated style. She's maintained a consistent sense of fashion even since rumours began linking her to the entire globe's most desirable bachelors. She had a timeless look that was distinctly traditional with a contemporary twist. Think classic British country, preppy, a touch of Sloan Ranger. In the year 2007, we experienced our initial major change. Knee-high footwear, matching jackets and brown hats are staples in Catherine's wardrobe. During a flowery performance for a business launching celebration in 2007, when my age was just a teenager, this lovely sundress and cardigan combination was my go-to for formal occasions. I don't think I'd owned a cardigan before Clueless but shortly after seeing it, I knew I had to buy one since it was the one item that would enhance any outfit and make it seem better. During a 2006 royal procession, she and her father both looked quite prim and proper. The royal wore a crimson Alexander McQueen overcoat alongside leather Jean Vito Rossi footwear. She also accessorised with a black Mulberry Amberley purse, adding a touch of class to her outfit. Catherine was photographed out and about in public with her locks tied back into a bun along with a black bow and arrow headgear by Juliette Botterill on her head. During the St. David's Day Parade in Windsor, the Princess of Wales addressed the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards as a royal fan wrote. She was seen modelling one of her creations as verified through the label's creative director, Evika Milanova Penezic. Catherine debuted the item in 2006. The style specialist said Catherine possesses over 10 Evika gloves, acquired from a tiny London shop, with a quote from the creator. An informal Catherine, who formerly resided in Chelsea alongside her sister Pippa, dresses casually for a day of grocery running. What are your thoughts of Princess Catherine's fashion sense before she joined the royal family? If you have any last ideas or comments, please share them with us.